Let's take a look at this application problem for the coordinate plane together. If you'd like to first try it on your own, go ahead and pause the video now, otherwise let's go over it together. Rectangle ABCD has the following vertices on the screen in front of you. What we need to do is find the area and perimeter of this rectangle. And if you weren't sure, the word vertices just means corners of this rectangle. Points A, B, C, and D will be the corners or the vertices of this rectangle. Our goal is to use these four vertices to find out the area and the perimeter of this rectangle. Let's start with point A, which is located at 4.5 comma negative 5. To plot point A, we're going to move 4.5 units to the right from the origin and then 5 units down from there. Point A is located in quadrant 4. For point B, we're going to start at the origin and move 4.5 units to the right and then 2.5 units up to plot point B over in quadrant 1. For point C, which is located at positive 1, comma, positive 2.5, we'll move 1 unit to the right from the origin and then 2.5 units up. This one's also located in quadrant 1. And finally, for point D, which is located at positive 1, comma, negative 5, we're going to start at the origin, move 1 unit to the right, and then 5 units down. Point D is also located in quadrant 4 with point A. Connecting point A to point B, point B to point C, and point C to point D, you can see that we do indeed have a rectangle. To find the length of this rectangle, we can use the distance from point A to point B. Notice how the x-coordinates of 4.5 match for points A and B, so we just have to find the distance between negative 5 and positive 2.5, or their y-coordinates. Because they're in different quadrants, we're going to add their absolute values, and we get a total distance of 7.5 units for the length. As for the width of the rectangle, we can find the distance between points B and point C, and notice that they have matching y values of positive 2.5. If that's the case, we can find the distance between their x-coordinates of positive 4.5 and positive 1. However, instead of adding their absolute values, we're going to subtract them because B and C are in the same quadrant. Subtracting their absolute values, we find out the width of this rectangle is going to be 3.5 units. So now that we figured out the length of the rectangle is 7.5 units and the width is 3.5 units, we can go ahead and find the area and perimeter. Remember for the area of a rectangle, the formula is length times width, so we can go ahead and substitute the length as 7.5 units, and we're going to multiply that by 3.5 units. To multiply fractions, we're going to convert these mixed numbers into improper fractions, so we have 15 halves units times 7 halves units, and we can't cross cancel here, so we can just multiply across, Multiplying across, we get 105 over 4 units squared, or square units, and converting this into a mixed number by using long division or a calculator, we'll get 26 and 1 fourth square units. Therefore, we figured out the area of this rectangle is 26 and a quarter square units. For the perimeter, you could just add up all four sides of the rectangle, or you can notice that we have two of the lengths and two of the widths because they're the same on both sides and the same on the top and the bottom. So we can say 2 times the 7.5 units plus 2 times the 3.5 units. If we double 7.5 units or multiply 2 times 7.5, that's really just going to be 15 units. And if we double the 3.5 units or do 2 times 3.5, that's going to be 7 units. Altogether, 15 units plus 7 units is going to be 22 units for the perimeter. And there you have it, for the perimeter, all the way around the rectangle is going to be 22 units. The area represents the fact that there are 26 and a quarter squares inside of this rectangle. And the perimeter of 22 units is how many of these little one unit lengths that go around the entire rectangle on the outside. And so there you have it, even though we were only given four vertices or four corners, we were able to figure out the area and perimeter using those coordinates. I really hope you found this video helpful, and as always, keep up the great work.